I will start with Keystone installation. These steps uh, to configure OpenStack config is a utility which I already mentioned. And the utility to configure the files, OpenStack service files. So, so far we have not uh, created the database, but we'll be creating it. That so we are not doing any configuration. Once you run the configuration, we'll create it. Okay. So don't confuse about this uh, keys, non username, passwords, and stuff like that. Right. So, and why is open uh, admin token? So admin token is usually used for the initial configuration only. That means the configuration which we are doing for the next step. For the, only the initial. Okay, for that reason only we are creating it. Because token is very much required to uh, to run any CLI commands or the uh, the keystone commands in there as well. So uh, for initially it will use a temporary token like admin token which can create services and which can talk to the database and to configure stuff initially. So moving forward, once you install the data uh, dashboard and stuff like that, you can see the, this is handled internally. So we don't have to take care from our end. So it's actually the token is creating, uh, everything will be happened in the back end. So So uh, this this is a generic certificate ski restrict access to the associated files for the keystone. This again it's an internal uh, configuration. So if you look at it, it's on keystone SSL because for this demo it doesn't make any sense because it's not on a public things, right? So it's not like is it for demo. So So these are the uh, keys which are, which we created using PK setup. And oh, there are some bugs which is related to each service for the Juno. That is the reason I am just resetting the the right permission for these files and uh, directories. Right? If the, we are not given this permission, sometimes it will the service won't start. Right, those kind of things are there. So there are open bugs which is related to the Juno. You know. Not only for the Keystone, for the other service as well. So, uh, um, right, that is the reason I am giving this ownership. This changing the file permissions. So now I log in. So my screen. So for. and create the database create the tables the scheme of the keys in database how will you verify it login database you this keystone right you can see these tables right starting the keystone service and this is the other uh, this is a cron tab which is running uh, for uh, keystone user so each there is a Keystone user which will be installed while, while we install the packages. Is what it does basically is flushing the tokens, which is expired. So there is a time frame, and after that it gets uh, uh, it will create a new tokens to to manage the 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 expired tokens. So it's actually using this script. We see you get token flush and do that. 
So then comes uh, then the other question which we asked about why OS service token and why OS service endpoint. So is is so if we want to execute the keystone command right to create an inst and uh, user roles, basically it's required and token and endpoint so those things we need to either define using this variable or what we can do is we can use use this parameter OS token and OS endpoint uh, parameter in this command okay so As you can see, this controller, the keystone is listening at 35357 as an uh, as a URL. So if you look at here, admin URL, okay. Okay, then, then comes uh, the creation of for tenants, users, roles, etc. So, if yes, I'm going to create a new tenant called admin tenant, so this this tenant admin tenant is is used inter is actually um, used for the for the authentication as an end user to log into the dashboard. This is not used for the uh, communication between the service but it's used for the dashboard. So far is a compute, no networking, we can manage, we can uh, handle, we can create different uh, features, I mean, what are the features which is available in the networking, those things. Okay, so I'm, I've created a user called admin as well, as part of uh, uh, it still is not part of the admin tenant, so I'm creating a um, role called admin. And this steps adds the user admin to as part of uh, as part of the role admin to the tenant. How will you execute? Okay, so that is so. This admin tenant is created, and so may basically these steps uh, is it's relevant here. Using the tenant option automatically assigns the member role. So this is part of the internal uh, OpenStack. So as soon as we create a new role, these steps, right? What will happen is that a new role gets added to this user. For any, if you if you if you try to add uh, any role right to the user, so by default this this role will be added to the user underscore member underscore member. So that is the reason we are giving the same uh, the same name like y underscore. Uh, we are giving underscore member underscore member. Uh, what I'm trying to say is so this admin user admin tenant is part admin tenant and admin all these admin and related to this okay. member part of the OpenStack architecture, software architecture. So that is the reason we are not changing the names. If we don't create it, that is what this steps create. So if we if we don't create also these steps, the role user role add tenant admin add. So the initial command, this command creates a role called underscore member underscore. Okay. So once this is created, so I, this step I am not going to create a keystone role. So um, next, I will come to that. So before that, I will create another tenant called demo. So demo is a tenant which is used for uh, for the cloud again for, from the dashboard login. So demo tenant and user role typical operations. 
So admin operate. This is used for the admin. Uh, the admin tenant is for the admin operations. Basically, it can manage multiple tenants as well because that is a super user admin. Which is what I am telling about the the core user credentials. And now I am going to create tenant and I am going to create a user tenant as well. Okay, so let me. Okay, so what is this? Let me see the keystone. Keystone or list. Oh, it's not created. So usually, what they say is, is uh, we don't have to create. We don't have to create this step. What we have done so far, we have to create this role called add underscore member underscore. So that is not required. That's what the documentation says. I am going to uh, skip these three steps. So here, these steps is actually adding role, member role to this particular user. But as per the documentation says that it's not required because it's created by default. It is not created. I have created. Okay. Okay, so then comes the service tenant creation. This tenant is actually created for the inner communication between the service component. Service. So with the help of this service only, this service a tenant only, the communication will happen internally. So basically, what what we we are going to do the in further right? So there will be like uh, Nova user, there will be like a storage Cinder user, there will be like a uh, like any other Android yeah. users will part of this tenant. So it will be like a one tenant. What is the service? And under this service, you can see that Nova tenant, Nova user, Neutron user, etc. and so on. Okay. So the next step is we are uh, we define uh, we we are defining a service. There is a we are creating a service called Keystone. It's a service command. So we have to do it for each service. Yes. That's really right. You can see this the the controller five zero zero zero. And uh, internally, it's 500 again. Admin URL is running on 35357, which I already mentioned. So, this is also internal, public as well as internal. So, this step, uh, why we are removing these variables is we want to test it using this this credential OS admin while we are mentioning that we want to give this OS token instead of OS service token and these variables so time being this is just for uh, to verify these things it's working or not that's it so See here you for the uh, see it means that for the admin token uh, admin user credentials the token is this one and it expires on this date right so one hour is a token okay and so this basically you don't have to worry about this token since so it's actually handled by the keystone. Okay, just just mentioning it's a role list. Let me see the role list. It will show this member role or not. Okay, strange. It's not showing. Okay. 
and the, the, the other steps which uh, he's creating the client environment which I mentioned here create open set client environment script this script is actually this is used for uh, creating the other service like Nova or the Neutron and creating the service endpoints the keystone added to the tenant and so on so those things are using using admin profiles so we are creating a file with these credentials admin admin for demo the tenant name is admin so using this admin the, since admin is a super user and super user tenant so we are using this login this is in plain text of course this uh, a security thing already there but that there are a lot of encryption and encryption software which is available in the market we we, we need this in moving forward we are creating the nova user and uh, Nova uh, Neutron services, we are creating like the endpoints which we created in this step, this one. So moving forward, we are not using any OS tokens or service endpoint because our temporary part is done, right? We have created with the keystone part. So now onwards, we are we are actually relying on the admin credentials as well as the demo profile. Necessity is otherwise every time you have to do this same step. What will happen if I log out from the session? I have to do the everything right. I have to do this step again and again every time. That is only reason. Make sense? That is the only reason I am putting there. And um, so we verify that there or not. Okay, it's there. So we'll sort this, this file. Now Keystone Raw List Keystone Tenant list so this is a client uh, environment so it's, a, it's like a, we are executing as a CLI right we can execute uh, we can uh, we can view or create the tenant user role whatever it is the service which you created etc using these commands these stone service list same way we have to add this is not necessary but still I am adding it for the demo but we are not sourcing is right now because moving forward we will be using the admin credentials because that means a super user because this is specific to the tenant or uh, right so e tenant so admin e admin tenant is part of the OpenSec software architecture in which this has a super power to create the service and the communication should happen between these so those, the, those names are very much relevant admin these admin and all right which I mentioned like a member role same like that okay that's completed so so we are done with the keystone